little TMI, but um, I feel like on the vlog channel there's really no boundaries. What's the longest you've gone without pooping? Hello, good morning, welcome back to the vlog, welcome to the car, welcome to my anxious car ride to the dentist. Um, prepare for nervous chatter currently. <laughs> so I um, went to the dentist, um, who my dentist is literally amazing and he makes me so comfortable and it's the only reason why I feel like I'm able to um, actually get myself there. Also this freeway, for some reason, I'm like, is this high pitched sound coming from my car or is it coming from the freeway? What's happening here? I have a lot of dentist related anxiety and it then causes me to not go, which is very bad for your teeth, obviously. Um, and so I had a little cosmetic uh, fix, I think last month, and I didn't end up vlogging it because I literally just get so anxious and I just... Uh, Literally, it just like overwhelmed that there's too much going on that I can't multitask. But he did a, oh my God, what did he do? What did he do? I can't remember, but I basically had nothing crazy. It was like a 20 minute procedure. I had some pretty severe chipping on just one tooth that actually ended up being longer or like was very clearly longer than my other front tooth. And so it worked out that they were able to just shave it down and to not only even them out, but remove the chip, which was amazing. And then I had these two little white stains on both of my front teeth that uh, revealed themselves after I got my braces off. And I remember in grade eight just being absolutely devastated. It's been something that's been like a major insecurity of mine for so long. And I don't know why I never like explored what it would be like to get that fixed. And it ended up being a very quick and painless and easy procedure. I shouldn't even call it a procedure because that makes it feel like it's too intense. Um, but I'll pop a before and after on screen and also uh, the names of the, uh, the name of the, something composite bonding maybe is, it was essentially as if we were just filling a super, super shallow level cavity kind of on top. I think. So that's what I got done last time and now I'm just going back for a regular routine cleaning. I feel like you've heard of like I work hard to make money so that I can afford a yard for my dog which thankfully I've been able to do but I also work hard so that I can afford and feel not too guilty because I do still feel guilty. I don't know why I'm so guilt ridden and anxiety filled about this whole situation, but I <laughs> I get laughing gas when I get a cleaning, which I know probably feels so extra for some people, but I genuinely have so much dentist anxiety. I'm very, very positive that it is tied to having an overreactive gag reflex specifically at the dentist and having a metaphobia. And so paying $100 for the laughing gas for 30 minutes or however long the cleaning is has solved so much of my dentist anxiety, it is crazy. So work hard to afford laughing gas so I can get my teeth cleaned. And that is the practical use of my money. Oh my God, my car's changing lights for me. Ah, I'll never be used to it. Oh God, I'll literally never be used to it. Oh, there's something so unnatural about it. Great lane change though, very safe, very smooth. No notes, 10 stars. Probably won't vlog the dentist uh, because again, full focus and also I get blasted off into outer space. I also used to be anxious about like getting too high on laughing gas. But laughing gas is like, because I'm not like a drug user, I don't have drug using experience. I'm like, what's this gonna feel like? Is it gonna be, is it gonna make me anxious? Is the laughing gas that I'm taking to not feel anxious going to make me anxious is just, the narrative of my freaking life. It's one of those things that as soon as they take the little, um, like, breathy tubes off your nose, you immediately start feeling normal again, and it is literally magic. So I will be back with clean teeth soon, and we will immediately go get ourselves a little treat um, for getting myself and actually going and not rescheduling, going to the dentist. 
I survived. It was okay. I basically just went to a different planet for 45 minutes and it was wonderful. And she said that I had great dental hygiene. I actually think that having a debilitating anxiety around the dentist makes me have better at home dental hygiene because I want the experience to be as uh, just like smooth as possible. I am a consistent adamant flosser so anyways maybe this is your sign if you've been putting off going to the dentist to make the appointment um i did it and you can too and now i'm gonna reward myself with a little treat i also have to grab some groceries um and my grocery store has a starbucks inside so i'm gonna grab jeremy and i coffee and grab some groceries i don't need too much i don't think um, and then it's literally 10 a.m. Like I have got my whole day ahead of me. I've got a few TikTok DIYs that I want to film today. I'm thinking about maybe doing another updated tattoo tour. So um, I've got 18 tattoos now. Last tattoo tour I did was in 2021, um, eight tattoos ago. So uh, I figured that I might do a little updated tattoo tour today. And uh, what else do I need today? There was something really specific. I needed and I can't remember it was a little TMI but um I feel like on the vlog channel there's really no boundaries what's the longest you've gone without pooping <laughs> We had Dr. Mike come onto the podcast yesterday and I think um him obviously not being my primary caregiver and not answering my overly personal questions to ask on a podcast has also inspired me to make a doctor's appointment because your girl has been struggling to poop. I drink literally two liters of water a day. I'm tracking my fiber. I eat fruits and vegetables and I eat like relatively healthy for the most part, like I would say. Outside of their of, of there being a creamy or two every other day. Um, but that, those are healthy. The conversation with Dr. Mike yesterday on the podcast has inspired me to not only knock out my dentist appointment, but I also was able to get a doctor's appointment just virtually with my doctor uh, in a couple days from now. The problem is, is that I feel fine and it's more of like knowing that I haven't pooped in four days and I'm like, where is all my food going? <laughs> definite TMI. So sorry, but please let me know. Um, provide me some comfort. I know that some people have like travel poop anxiety where they're not able to poop when they are traveling, but I am very much in my regular at-home routine right now and I don't know what's going on and I'm a little concerned. Uh, so there's nothing I think at the grocery store that I'm going to get right now that's going to fix those problems, but I just did want to put that out there that I am being a a very responsible adult knocking out a dentist and a doctor's appointment in the span of 48 hours. Okay, let's go get a little treat. Quick little grocery haul. I got two cases of the orange cream bubbly, um, a bunch of these poppy, the apple cider vinegar drinks. They're so good. I also just, okay, we've got Diggo drinking very loudly currently. Literally, as soon as I turn the camera on, it's like the dogs are suddenly, have never had a taste of water in their life. I saw that these are at Costco now, so I might have to make a trip over to Costco because they're kind of expensive when you just buy them like individually like this. Um, I got a few Alani News. They rarely ever have the juicy peach flavor at the grocery store. So bought literally 10 of these and then Mimosa is the other best flavor in my personal opinion. Um, I saw that they just launched a Kim Kardashian flavor though, which I'm very excited to try. Got some raspberries, some strawberries, Oh my god, this bread is so high in fiber. Give me the fiber. Give me the poop. <laughs> Um, some more of the sugar-free chocolate jello mix for my chocolate creamies that taste like Frosties. I have one freezing right now in the freezer for tonight. Since I've had a few like pool days and wearing sunscreen, my chest has been breaking out so badly. It is driving me crazy. So anyways, I've been seeing this being recommended for body acne. So I'm gonna give this a try. Let me know if you've tried it. Um, some broccolini. I've got some chicken parm that I made last night. Um, so I need a veg to go with that tonight. Um, I also saw these recommended on TikTok, these baked hot Cheetos. So gonna give these a try. And then I literally eat these every single day. They're so good. The Greek yogurt that is strawberry cheesecake flavored, fire, absolute fire. Um, ate my cake pop as I was walking around the grocery store for my little treat. I got myself a little latte and Jeremy's got his cold brew, some deodorant, and that is the haul.
I have been eating this exact meal for lunch every single day for the past week. Um, and honestly, I'm realizing now this fiber intake situation, this bread is really high in fiber. And I'm just, why can't I poop? <laughs> Anyways, absolute fire. I feel like I didn't realize that French toast could actually be decently high in protein and not just like a really bad for you breakfast meal. And so here I am eating French toast for lunch. Hi, bubbies. I have somehow found myself back on resin talk and um, Diggy, don't worry, he will be kicked out of the resin experience because it is quite chemically and yes, I will be grabbing protective gear, um, including a mask. I've learned a lot about the PPE involved with doing resin work. I have been wanting to do some resin stuff with pressed flowers, so these just came in the mail today. I'm leaning towards these kind of like purpley pink ones um, and then what in the motherfuck do you think you're doing over there? I don't know if anyone has ever sat in this chair before. And I'm so glad that you could be the first to go. Um, so anyways, I want to do uh, this acrylic little tray. So I'm thinking maybe like a third white and then the rest of it um, like clear with some gold leaf and then maybe some pressed flowers. I don't know if that's gonna be too crazy to do gold leaf and pressed flowers, but could be fun. So I just got this brand new uh, lamp slash phone tripod. What's happening over here? Sir? <laughs> No, I understand. It has to be perfect. It has to be absolutely perfect, even if there's just a tiny little pillow that is really not that soft and has been used uh, strictly for decor until now. Oh, Diggo, that's so nice. That's perfect. I'm so happy that that worked out for you. Oh, I'm so sad I have to kick him out. I wish like, I had like a little bull terrier size snoot mask so that he could stay and hang out with me, but I really don't want him to be breathing in resin as well too because it's, you know, he didn't sign up for that. I mean, like he kind of did, but not really. What was I saying? I literally can't remember. Gonna make a tray, excited about it. I look like shit, my ring is off, my hair is up, and I'm going to, oh, 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 I'm so excited about this. So this is a lamp slash phone tripod that goes in here and then your phone can obviously either shoot through here or through this side and this rotate and you see like the little holes here you can move it around within this and this is actually a light the key part of this is the super heavy base so that i can have it and it shoots from right above which is amazing because normally i have this light in front of me and this like cast light this way but because i don't have like my ceiling rigged to be like professionally lit or anything i've never had just like straight down lighting so i'm excited about the uh upgrade that we've got even just from like a filming perspective of being able to go straight down onto the diy okay so i'm gonna set this up as a side camera um i'm shooting the uh main tiktok on my phone so i will set you guys up over on the side uh over here so you can see the behind the scenes safety first ladies and gentlemen wow oh this is awful obviously worth the safety but this truly this is awful this is awful okay here we go mostly success I hope after watching a ton of different TikToks on um, resin with pressed flowers uh, the number one tip was doing like your base layer first to kind of glue it down and then I'll do a top coat over top I'm gonna go and check on it in another 20 minutes to make sure the flowers haven't like floated too far from where I originally put them um, try and drag them back and then let that cure for like six hours so not all the way and then I can add my top coat um, and so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But uh, that uh, like overhead um, situation was 10 out of 10, 
no notes. The only thing was that I couldn't use the light because um, that tray was acrylic and so you could see the exact reflection of the ring light that was facing right down on it, but that's okay. 10 out of 10, I will leave it linked down below. It was a random Instagram ad, um, but I think it's a family business and it is an incredible product. I have a bit of a book haul. Also, I just realized that it is Amazon freaking Prime Day. And so scratch the tattoo tour. We are gonna stock up on um, just like repurchases and a few new things that I've had saved in my Amazon card, I think. Um, so we're gonna do a little Amazon Prime Day shopping. Uh, also pissed because I just bought so many books. Um, I have been in my book girly era, my reading girl era, and I have been crushing books, like literally reading like sometimes a book a day. It's insane over the weekend. And last week we kind of had that like little mini holiday. So what I just started last night that I'm so excited about, cause I know that there's a movie coming to, I think Amazon Prime um, in August. Someone sent me that I think it may be coming out on my birthday, but red, white, and royal blue. So this is what I started last night. I'm so excited. I posted this on Instagram and got so many replies that you love this book. Very excited. Let me know if you've read it. Um, this will be my third Emily Henry book. This one is Book Lovers. I also made a book highlight on Instagram of all of the reviews. Reviews. When I say reviews, I mean a short, paraphrased sentence, half a sentence, maybe on my feelings and like a little rating. Um, I loved, what was my, what were the two other Emily Henry books that I just read? Happy Place, I read was my second Emily Henry book. I didn't love that one. I had a hard time getting through like, the second third and the end up until like the very very end i think sometimes when the protagonist and the love interest are failing to communicate i get so irrationally mad and i'm like just fucking tell him just fucking tell him that you love him just but why would you not tell him why are you being so stupid just fucking tell him and i get so mad and so uh that was one of those books where i experienced that to a very deep level beach read Loved Beach Read. Beach Read was so cute. Loved Beach Read. Um, Happy Place is my second Emily Henry book, and this will be my third book lovers. This was highly recommended, and it has, oh wow, a really, really good reviews. This is what I'm thinking next after Red, White, and Royal Blue. And then I also got Nora Goes Off Script. This one, it looks pretty short, looks like a pretty quick read. Um, a lot of good recommendations on this one. I do have a Kindle and I like my Kindle for traveling, but I genuinely just like holding a physical book in my hand and then I loan them out to friends. So although I do buy a decent amount of books, I loan them out to friends and they kind of circulate within my friend group. Um, I also have these two that were on my shelf that I bought forever ago that I I have on my to read list. Uh, this one is The Decent Proposal. And then this one is The Wedding Date. I think I, I can't decide if I maybe read a little bit of this one and I <laughs> might have to, I think I'm, I'm just gonna start again and we'll see, we'll see uh, if anything feels familiar. But those are my current reads and uh, the highlight on my Instagram has many more. Um, but if there is a book recommendation that you have, let me know. I'm so excited to read Red, White, and Royal Blue. I feel like the the general synopsis of so many of the replies was that it is literally so many people's like top number one favorite book, which is really cute, and I'm excited. I'm gonna let the resin fumes, even though I did wear a mask, uh, release off of my being, my person, and read a few chapters of this book. I've got my watermelon poppy. I haven't had this flavor before. It's good. I like it. And um, then I'm gonna move on to my next TikTok that I have scheduled, slated to shoot today, if you will. Um, I think. No, wait. Do I want to? Oh, I want to. I want an Amazon Prime. I want a Prime Day. I want a Prime Day. That's what we'll do next, sir. <laughs> Oh my God, are you kidding? The moment that I hit record, do I have the hiccups? It better just been one. I think it's just one, I think we're fine. <gasps> no, oh fuck, I have the hiccups. Okay, Diggy, maybe we resituate ourselves so that our paws are not on the desk. There is room for both of us in this chair though. <sighs> oh my God, oh my God, chaos. Oh my God, I haven't had the hiccups in so long. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. 
I, um, one, my hips are gone, we're under control, everyone is settled. Uh, I blacked out for a second in a wormhole of TikToks of people being like, this is what I bought for Prime Day. And I was like, oh my God, I need all of this. And I need none of it. I need literally none of it. So I have edited my shopping cart to be much more under control. And here is what I am buying. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start off with the zigzag plastic shark tooth hair comb headbands. I wear these almost every single day. My bangs are not quite banging anymore and they are just at like the most awkward length where they do fit totally like in a ponytail and I can tuck them behind my ears, but I just like, they're driving me insane. And so what they just like, I can't have my hair in my face. So I've been wearing these zigzag headbands all the time, which is very 2000s of me and I'm kind of here for it, gonna be honest. So these are 20% off today. I snap these all the time. I have a really small head too and so I'm not entirely sure how this keeps happening but I'm gonna get a replacement of two of these 20% off. They are $7.89. Love to see it. I'm also gonna get um, this adhesive invisible sticky bra. I go through these. I don't know why I can't keep these alive longer. I think maybe because I have two dogs and fur is like as soon as fur gets stuck to like the inside of the gel, it feels a little gross. It's like just like fur and dust. I don't take the best care of them and I could definitely, I could definitely do better. I could definitely do better. But these are 15% off today, lowest price in 30 days, prime day deal. And oh no, we've got most, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> you good puppies? What are you doing? This truly, I made a TikTok with an update of how this has been going about in my house and this truly was the best $100 I have ever spent. Okay, that's just a butthole. Oh my God, Jesus. Okay, okay. Maybe we need a quick intermission here. This is for TSJ and it's really kind of making my shopping cart be kind of expensive. This is the 150 watt USB-C charger by the brand Anchor. It's a 747 charger, a four port, four port, fast, compact, foldable GAN charger for MacBook Air Pro, iPhone 14 Pro, iPad Pro, Dell XPS 13, Galaxy S22, S20. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like this, this little fancy thing. Anyways, it's 32% off today and he was very excited about that. So that's in my cart for TSJ. Um, I've got this waterproof dog bed cover pet blanket. Um, so we put these, we have like our couches obviously white and with having two dogs and also two adults who frequently eat hot Cheetos on the couch, we just cycle out. Honestly, it's like the best thing ever. If you have a white couch, highly recommend. So we do these waterproof, um, so this exact one, bed cover, furniture cover underneath and then we do white blankets on top of it. And so if anything ever spills, you're totally covered because it just sits literally on top of that waterproof kind of like pad layer. And then we just have um, two sets of the white blankets that we just swap out every week or so in the wash. And it is truly like the best life hack. It has been a game changer. Because taking all of the covers and putting them back onto all the cushions of the cloud couch, the cushions are so heavy. It's a full day situation if you wanna wash all of the cushions on the couch. I'm also gonna grab um, another bottle of the of the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Soothing Shampoo. Um, this has been pretty good so far with my psoriasis. I've been going between this one and also the Neutrogena T-Sal Shampoo and they both have been good. So I've been kind of going back and forth because I've heard there's lots of benefits of apple cider vinegar, not only in poppy drinks, but also on on my scalp. So I'm gonna get another one of these, 20% off. I actually just went through, I was like, okay, let's be responsible and not go crazy. I went through my orders and just like looked at what was on sale from things that I have already bought and will need to buy in the future. 
responsible Prime Day shopping. I went to the book category to see what was on sale and the Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score is on sale for 57% off, but then I realized that that is the second book in the series. And so Things We Got Over, the first book in the series is not on sale, but I'm gonna grab both anyways because that has been on my reading list forever. Okay, this is my biggest purchase that is mine. Um, I've been meaning to get some over the head, over, over ear, big headphones for the gym um I feel like there are some days where I want to make it just like so incredibly clear that I am not in the mood to socialize because for some reason even if a creepy dude can see you have airpods in they still feel like I don't know I, j I feel I've been told that I kind of have a resting bitch face and I just feel like I don't look I don't like do I look approachable for girls, I want to be, I want to look approachable, but for creepy straight dudes, I really just don't. I really don't. Anyways, when I see girls working out at the gym with the like on ear headphones, I'm like, oh, like you definitely wouldn't go up to that person. So I've been meaning to get a pair. Didn't realize that the Apple uh, over the ear ones are a bajillion dollars, so not gonna get those, but the Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones are 45% off today. I think that's the biggest sale item that I am getting. So I'm gonna grab those, they're only $109. That is quite a discount. I saw another creator um, recommend this LED uh, clip fill light. So I'm gonna grab this. It is on sale 38% off today at $28. Gonna grab one of those these sunglasses i'm a hoe for a pair of oversized sunglasses um i need a pair of car sunglasses as well too so i'm gonna grab these and try to remember to keep them just in my car um but these are 32 percent off at 13.59 a deal i got the uh tortoise style color uh this is not on sale but this kula pina colada uh, scented sunscreen is my all-time favorite. Oh my god. Oh my god I got a little toasty the other day at the dog park and I was like, oh, yes, of course summer Yes, it is Satan's asshole in LA right now. It is so hot. Uh, so this is not on sale, but I, I do need some of this. And everything Olaplex right now is majorly on sale. So this is the number five bond maintenance conditioner, 20% um, off, gonna grab one of these. I actually, uh, I think I got gifted a bunch of minis. So in my shower, I've just been going through, I've been like crushing these little mini bottles. So I'm gonna get a full size um, in this order. And then the last thing I'm getting are the Mighty patch uh pimple stickers which we just talked about in the last video these are on sale down from $22 to $17.59 oh you know what I wonder if everyone recommended that hero like the mighty patch ones also have the pokey pimple patches so I'm gonna see if they have some of those that are on sale as well too because apparently those are cheaper than the sticka killer cheaper than those ones Anyways, that's what's in my cart right now. These feel like all pretty solid purchases. Um, happy Prime Day. I feel like people have been really, really amped for this. I kind of forgot to be honest, uh, but seeing the deal that I'm getting on these headphones, I'm like, oh shit, this is, maybe I should be looking. Like if you were gonna buy a vacuum, today would probably be the day. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoy your Prime Day. I'm gonna check out and gonna Venmo request Jeremy for this stupid I'm just gonna I'm not gonna Venmo request <laughs> Jeremy for this stupid charger <laughs> anyways um that is my prime day shopping haul uh and it all comes tomorrow that is insane insane already know what time it is also I am so violently greasy right now oh <gasps> I can't even I can't even be like oh I've got I've got a dewy look going on today because I have never been dewy a day in my life I've just I've just either been dry or greasy and there's no in between um, anyways more importantly it's creamy time this one is already frozen it is very simple it is just the chocolate fair life protein shake with um, a tablespoon and a half of the sugar-free chocolate pudding mix um, and it tastes literally like 
a Wendy's Frosty, who is fucking hilarious on threads, by the way, my favorite account. Um, and this has been my go-to. I've been like not getting crazy with the flavors lately and it's been, it's been nice. I'm like kind of being like a purist, I feel like. So it's creamy time. Also, I fully have not washed the pan from lunch today. So while the creamy is going, because it is so, sir, there are so many things in here that I am positive you cannot eat. But I will enjoy it in your place. So sorry, you had your after dinner snack already. Um, haven't washed the pan. I also have my air fryer that I haven't washed from last night's dinner as well too. So I feel like in the exact time, maybe even less of the creamy doing its full cycle, I can probably wash all of these dishes. And then um, I feel like it's, it's, it's a good plan. The timing I think will be great. I guess when I'm just like staring at it, which makes more sense. I still have a whole freaking pan left. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Fucking every time. So good. Look at this texture. I wanted plastic reusable spoons and I like small mini things. I like small mini spoons and I get um, shivers. I get like, like the like the ick goosebumps when metal touches my teeth. And so anyways, uh, try to get some plastic spoons reusable and they are gigantic. So this was not exactly what I was going for, but they are reusable. So that's great. Um, but anyways, let's do a texture demonstration. It's perfect. Every time. God damn. It's literally too frosty. Oh my god. I really truly also thought that I say also because I just feel like you guys know me to the point where I get hyperfixations and they don't last that long, but I thought this hyperfixation would be over by now. Not even close. Not even close. This spoon is literally too big for my mouth. I don't know if I can make this work. Um. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. This is like daily vlog vibes. It feels like vlogmas. That's kind of like what the vibes of today reminded me of for some reason. Um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will have a link to all of my Amazon Prime Day favorites in the description. I have a mighty brain freeze. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Okay. Bye. -bye.